forward together. <laughs> Governor Malley, thank you. Not only, not only do I apologize to Secretary Clinton, and I hope we can work together on an independent investigation from day one, I want to apologize to my supporters. This is not the type of campaign that we run. And if I find anybody else involved in this, they will also be fired. We do have a lot of important issues. ISIL videos, ISIL training videos are telling lone wolves the easiest way to con buy a combat assault weapon in America is at a gun show, and it's because of the flip-flopping political approach of Washington that both of my two colleagues on this stage have represented there oh, for the last 40 whoa, years. Whoa, 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 we need whoa, 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 whoa. common sense. Common let's calm down a little station. bit, Martin. Yeah, let's, get, let's, tell, the, right, let's mean, tell the truth, Martin. Where is it written that it's the job of the United States of America or its Secretary of State to determine when dictators have to go. We have a role to play in this world, but it is not the world, the, the role of traveling the world looking for new monsters to David, destroy. David. We now finally are where we need to be. We have a strategy and a commitment to go after ISIS, which is a danger to us as well as the region. Secretary and we finally have a UN Security Council resolution bringing the world together to go after a political can transition can in Syria. If say, the United States does not lead, there is not another leader. There is a I vacuum. And we have to lead if I, I we're really, going to be successful. Senator Saunders, please. Go ahead. Senator Saunders, the last word on this. The United States must lead, but the United States is not the policeman of the world. The United States must not be involved in perpetual warfare in the Middle East. The United States, at the same time, cannot successfully fight Assad and ISIS. ISIS now is the major priority. Why is it that we spend almost three times per capita as to what they spend in the UK, 50% more than what they say in, what they pay in France, countries that guarantee health care to all of their people and in many cases have better health care outcomes. Bottom line, this ties into campaign finance reform. The insurance companies, the drug companies are bribing the United States Congress. We need to pass a Medicare for all single payer system. It will lower the cost of health care for a middle class family by thousands of dollars a year. So what I have proposed, number one, is a $5,000 tax credit to help people who have very large out-of-pocket costs be able to afford those. Number two, I want Medicare to be able to negotiate for lower drug prices, just like they negotiate uh, with other countries. Yeah, this one falls under the category of, I have actually done this.